Hello guys, Craig Frost here and welcome back to another Juicy Tuts tutorial. Today we're inside Premiere Pro and I'm going to look at how to do audio ducking or sidechain compression with a project that you may have inside Premiere. Now I've already looked at this at how to do it in Adobe Audition so if you haven't seen that video go and watch that one first because it's pretty much the same thing, only we've got to get the project to audition to begin with. But I will show you everything in this video, so maybe you can just stick with this video. It's absolutely fine. So what I have here is I have a video track shot on a GoPro. I have some music, which sounds like this. And then I have some audio, which sounds like this. This is some test audio for audio ducking inside Adobe Premiere Pro. Oh, that's such a good voiceover. Um, but the thing is, when it mixes with the music, it sounds a bit like this. This is some test audio for audio ducking inside Adobe. Well, I'd like that audio to kind of sing over the top of the music. Now what I could do is just turn the whole music down or I could keyframe the music to turn down every time I talk but um, if it's a longer clip it might take a bit of a while so there's an easy way to do it. What there is, you can come up here to edit, you can go edit in Adobe Audition, sequence, uh, choose where you want the path to save it and you can export a video preview if you want, I will do that, entire sequence is fine and we'll click OK and I've already done a practice of this so that's why it said overwrite but yes that's fine so it's gonna prepare all the assets we need to edit in Adobe Audition and there you go now it's brought it into Adobe Audition we have a video track which is playing in this little monitor down here we have our music track and our audio track and everything will be perfectly in sync if you had multiple clips spread across multiple timelines and um, multiple tracks in a timeline in Premiere it'll be fine but for this it still sounds like this this is some test audio now to make that really sing over the top on the effects tab of the audio I'm gonna bring up amplitude compression dynamics processing and then use the preset soft limit 24 decibels or minus and then I'm gonna set the output gain to zero and that should be fine and now we'll hear the music is a lot quieter this is some test audio now you can hear the audio but the thing is the music is constantly at that level I want it to just stay at full volume but just dip when I talk so people won't even notice that it's dipping um, to do that what we need to do is we come up here to sidechain um, sends even and then we need to set up a sidechain on the vocal track so we go sidechain create dynamics processing which is looking at the effects in slot one of this track and now it should sound like this this is some test audio for audio ducking inside you can really hear that ducking I'll play it one more time with the vocal track muted keep an eye on the audio levels down here you'll really see it duck every time I speak So that's what we're getting. Anyway, so now I want to get this back into Premiere. What you can do is you can go File, Export, Multi-Track, Mix Down, Entire Session, and export one audio file of all the tracks mixed down, drag that into Premiere, line it up with the start of your sequence, and that should be fine. Um, and that's effectively what we're going to do anyway, but there's an even easier way of doing that. You can go Multi-Track and Export to Premiere Pro, choose where you want it to go, and we want to mix down session to a stereo file. Now you can say open in Adobe Premiere Pro and that will automatically open it, but I'll show you where to find it just in case it doesn't. So we are going to call it this, export, and that's fine. So now if I come back into Premiere Pro, I want to import and find the XML file from uh, audition which says AU tracks we don't want the original one that's what Premiere used to send into Adobe Audition but this is in the audition interchange file which is created where you saved it uh, so we just import that and then it will say copy to a new audio track so we'll copy it in so now on our sequence at the very bottom it will create a new audio track with everything mixed down so now all we need to do is let me just close some of these so I can see it we just need to mute the other tracks that we already had and just let this bottom track play out 
and that is the audio track for our video. Here we go. This is some test audio for audio ducking inside Adobe. There you go anyway. Um, I hope this video helped. You can use this for a number of different things and it will save a lot of time, especially if you've got a video which is like 20 minutes long and you had to go through and keyframe the audio for every time someone speaks. Um, but this will really help. So thank you for watching. If this did help, leave a like and subscribe if you do want to see more videos. And I'll see you again next time. Bye.